Yo, check it, bro. I got the best dank straight out of Cali. Why is it the best? Dude, I just said it's from Cali, bro. So that's it. If it comes from Cali, it's the best. Like, that's it? That's all you got? I mean, yeah. So what about this? Let's say I go to Cali. I dig up some dirt. I bring it to the East Coast. Grow it with that dirt. It's still Cali, bud, right? Like, best. Best of the West, bruh. Hey guys, 420 scene here. Hope everybody's having a super stony day. Let me know what you're talking on and where you're watching the video from. I always like to know. Drop a like, subscribe, and if you want access to all my secret unlisted grow and smoke videos, check us out on Patreon. I'm gonna have the link in the upper right hand corner over here. Today we're gonna be talking about the best ways to use your sugar leaves because I've never made a video talking about sugar leaves, so I figured, I mean, it's pretty important stuff. Pretty important to utilize everything that you're actually trying to grow. I mean, you spend three to four months on a run got to try to make the most of it right brass so like the level of importance is obviously your flowers are going to be like top of the list top tier right there but then your sugar leaves i mean it's going to be right there as your number two can we all at least agree on that i feel like especially if you're new into the horticulture world or maybe if you did a couple runs some people don't think to keep the sugar leaves and they just end up wasting it and throwing away but you can do a lot of stuff with the sugar leaves you can make tinctures butter oil a lot of edible type of stuff and before we really get into it if you're looking for a recommendation on I do recommend the Magic Butter Maker. I bought one for my wife for her birthday last year and she absolutely loves it. If you're new on here and don't really know what sugar leaves are, they're the leaves that are right by your flowers. They're usually gonna be really frosty and they're usually gonna be a lot smaller than all your other fan leaves. Fan leaves are garbage. You don't need to keep any of that stuff like when you're finally done with your runs. But sugar leaves, you definitely wanna use a trim bin and collect all that stuff. They're called sugar leaves because they have all that frost on them. It's not because, you know, there's actual sugar. I just feel like I need to say that because guess what? I've heard crazier stuff. I've actually heard somebody tell me in a video comment that they dipped their flowers in paint just to get that purple color and honestly, I wish I was making that up and I don't, <laughs> I don't think they were trolling either. See that? Now all of a sudden, people that think sugar leaves are actually made of sugar doesn't sound like the craziest shit that you've ever heard. Now it's the second craziest thing that you've ever heard, but not the first. I was actually doing some research and I didn't even know this, but your sugar leaves are more important than just using it for I know you're probably thinking, well, what do you mean, bro? They can actually tell you how healthy your ladies are. So like, for example, if you've ever noticed that your sugar leaves are turning yellow, it's not really that big of a deal because it just naturally fades off when you're in the later stage of flowering, kind of like your fan leaves. So if it turns yellow, don't really worry about it too much, but there, there's a butt right there. Not that kind of butt, get your mind out of the gutter. If your sugar leaves are turning brown, then you might have a little bit of a problem when they turn brown. It can actually mean, I think like two different things here. It can mean that you either have nutrient burn which you know obviously happens when you give your ladies too much nutrients right but it can also be a calmag deficiency believe it or not so it's kind of like an fyi but on the other hand i know i'm saying but too much if your sugar leaves are turning brown but your regular fan leaves look normal and healthy it might not really be that big of a deal as you think i know i said before you know it could be nutrient burn or it can be a calmag deficiency but there's different <laughs> i keep saying but <laughs> I've also heard that brown sugar leaves could be a sign of bud rot, but you should be able to inspect your flowers and bud rot, I mean, it is probably one of the most noticeable things that you could look at. Because not only are your sugar leaves gonna be turning brown, but you're also gonna get some black spots on your flowers and you could also be getting some mold around the underside of your flowers, but if you thoroughly inspect your flowers, you're definitely gonna be able to tell if you have bud rot right off the bat. I don't wanna freak anybody out, I just want you guys to be mindful of that. The one thing I can tell you guys is if there's something wrong with your ladies, nine times out of 10, there's usually gonna be more than one sign towards a specific problem. It's not like you're gonna get one sign and bam, that's the problem. It's usually accompanied by something else. Like I feel like you're gonna get at least two signs. That's that's what I've noticed from all the years that I've been doing this. So just kind of keep that in mind as another FYI. Also, because I know there's gonna be somebody, I mean somebody in the comment section is gonna ask this question somewhere down the line. Don't your sugar leaves, okay? I mean, you can, but it's gonna be harsh as balls, bro. Kinda sounded like Theo Vaughn for a sec. But it's gonna be really terrible, and there's just better ways to utilize your sugar leaves. You can it up and collect the though. That's what I do. I can't say the T word on YouTube, unfortunately, the try sugar. So if I say sugar, you know what I'm talking about. I've also mentioned earlier that you can make butter, oil, and tincture, but I don't think I mentioned brewing tea, but you can, okay, you can, technically technically make tea out of it but i tried it that way and 
I'm gonna just be honest with you, it was not the most pleasant thing to drink. Like, it will sort of get the job done, but if you're trying to get it to taste good, <laughs> it's just not happening here. I don't care what flavors of tea you try to brew with. I've tried everything you could think of. I tried the Sleepy Time, the Apple Cinnamon, Orange, Passion Fruit, I mean, you name it, I've done it. Trust me, it sucks. So that's why I didn't really want to mention making the tea in the beginning of the video, just because I'm just not a fan of it, and I feel like you guys won't be a fan of it either, but I'm only mentioning it now because because yes, it is possible to do it, but it just sucks. No other way for me to really say it. The point is, don't just let your sugar leaves go to waste. All that time and effort, I mean, you know, it would be a shame to just throw something away when you could actually use and benefit from it like dead ass. Brit hates when I say dead ass. <laughs> so if there's something that I might have missed, drop it in the comment section below. And I also want to know what you guys use your sugar leaves for. I want to see a lots of comments. Like I'm talking about 1 million comments, maybe. That, that That's going to do, all right? And maybe 10 million likes, but I highly doubt it. But a man can always dream. Having said that, before we close off today's video, I want to thank everyone in our Patreon community for all the love and support. I really appreciate it, especially those of you guys that have been in my Patreon community for the last two years now, since we started it, I think back in like February of 2020. Everybody else, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, before we do finish the video, kind of a little sidebar before we actually do close off the video. If you think the skits in the beginning of the video are funny, I'm thinking about making some shorts of them just because they're pretty hilarious. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you want me to keep doing those skits. I think they're super hilarious. Well, at least I think so. And as always, you guys know the drill. Stay safe. Peace.